Hello, welcome to Thrive Groups. We're so glad to have you here with us this week. Uh, we got a couple ground rules that we want to go over before we get started. First is we want to encourage everyone to participate and no one to dominate. So share your story, share your experiences, your observations, your thoughts, but leave room for other people to share theirs as well. Also, start on time, we end on time. So when the group is over, hey, you guys can hang out for a few minutes, but we'll stay respectful of the place that we are in. So we are in the final week of our series, Lesser Known, where we talk about the lesser known parables of Jesus. And this week we're talking about the parable of the talents. So before we jump into the parable though, we're gonna open up with this question and it's, do you have summer plans? Maybe a vacation, maybe something you like to do in the summer. I don't know, maybe you just wanna stay inside of the AC. For me, uh, we have a pool, so spend time in the pool and we have, I have a boat. And so spend as much time on the water or in the water as possible. So that's kind of my 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 plans. Uh, not not really planning to go away, other than the the Mount Washington uh, hike that we're doing uh, as a church and a few other like little things like that. But um, but yeah, be on the water as much as I can. But how about you? Do you have any summer plans? Okay, we're going to read the parable now. This comes from Matthew chapter 25. We're starting in verse 14, and this is a long section. So we're going to, I'm going to read it, and then we're going to talk about whatever stands out to us. So here we go. For it will be like a man going on a journey who called his servants and entrusted to them his property. To one he gave five talents, to another two, to another one, to each according to his ability. Then he went away. He who had received the five talents went at once and traded with them and made five talents more. So also he who had the two talents made two talents more. But he who had received the one talent went and dug in the ground and hid his master's money. Now, after a long time, the master of those servants came and settled accounts with them. And he who had received the five talents came forward, bringing five talents more, saying, Master, you delivered to me five talents, and here I have made five talents more. His master said to them, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a little, and I will set you over much. Enter into the joy of your master. And he also, who had the two talents, came forward and saying, Master, you delivered to me two talents. Here I have made two talents more. And his master said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a little. I will set you over much. Enter the joy of of your master. He also, who had received the one talent, came forward saying, Master, I knew you to be a hard man, reaping where you did not sow and gathering where you scattered no seed. So I was afraid and I went and I hid your talent in the ground and here, here you have what is yours. But his master answered him, you wicked and slothful servant. You knew that I reap where I have not sown and gather where I scattered no seed. Then you ought to have invested my money with the bankers. And at my coming, I should have received what was my own with interest. So take the talent from him and give it to him who has the ten talents. For everyone who has will be given more, and he will have an abundance. But from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. And cast the worthless servant into the outer darkness. In that place, there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Wow, that was a lot there. But let's take a few moments and discuss what stood out to us. Okay, so share about a talent that you have. It could be any kind of talent, just a talent that you have. For me, one of my talents is, is magic. Uh, I've done magic for years. I have, well, I haven't done it in years, but I did it for years. When I was a teenager, did a lot of magic shows, stage magic mostly, uh, but that was a talent that I, that I had. But how about you? What's a talent that you have? Uh, maybe you know what it knows about it. Maybe they do. It doesn't matter. What's your talent? Next question here is this. Tell about a time you used a talent or gift for God. Time you used a talent or gift. It can be any kind of talent or gift. Uh, one of the talents that, that I uh, used to work on was, was these feats of strength, like breaking bricks and ripping foam books and blowing up hot water bottles so they burst and taking frying pans and rolling them. And we would go and we'd do these shows for, for kids in and, and inner city situations and in different areas. And we would preach the gospel using these gifts and talents and abilities to further God's kingdom. But tell me about your story. What is the time that you've used a gift or a talent, maybe baking, sewing, maybe earning money? Like, I don't know what it is, uh, but a time that you use that talent for God. 
Final question here is how can you use what God has given you for his purpose? How can you use your talents, your gifts, your abilities, your resources, your money? How can you use that for God's glory? Well, hey, thanks so much for joining us this week at our Thrive Group. We're going to close in prayer now. And I believe there's power when we pray together for each other. So I'd encourage everyone to take a few moments, say a few words of prayer, pray for somebody. Uh, maybe you can make a request, uh, pray for healing, whatever it is that you'd like to. And then when you're done, you can say amen. Next person will go. Then the leader will wrap it up. So thank you so much for joining us this week at our Thrive Groups. Let's close in prayer.